All right, so I got another wood shop woodworking tip for you guys tonight. Uh, working on my same DeWalt saw that I showed you how to change the blade. Now I'm going to show you how to square your blade. Now this particular saw says it can miter up to 50 degrees one direction and up to 60 degrees the other direction. So that's pretty good. I mean, you're, you're lucky if you can get a saw that'll go 45 either way. Some of the cheaper ones only go 45 one way, but like I said, this is you know it's my crown jewel. So. Uh, anyway, honest to God, I bought this thing, Jesus, over a year and a half ago, and I always assumed that coming from the factory, the blade was square, okay? So we're talking a year and a half worth of woodworking projects. I mean, my wife builds these gorgeous fish tank stands. I build honeybee boxes like crazy. We built all sorts of stuff. Shoot, we, we installed the entire hardwood floor in our house with this thing, okay? blade wasn't square. Blade was just a hair out of line. Maybe off by less than a degree, but it was enough that across the course of say a foot long cut, when you went to try to square that piece up with something else, it wouldn't square up. And I learned this as I started building stuff. I was constantly building beekeeping boxes and when I would go to put them together, they were always off by just a little bit. And I kept thinking, you know, it was just my shoddy craftsmanship. I kept thinking, Maybe when I built them that I wasn't on a perfectly level surface. But what happened was this red tick sits on zero. That's fine. But see, the saw has all these stops along the way. So you can just punch your handle down just like this. And you can just you know, slide it back and forth real quick and easy. And it actually snaps in on these presets. It'll, it'll click right in on its own. Um, so I was like, just throw it on zero, assume it was on zero. But what happened was the blade here was just not quite square and you know it is square now of course but before I squared it when you put the the T in here or the this 90 you would see just a hair little gap right there by the blade and a hair little gap right here so that told you that the saw was just just a little bit and this is an exaggeration but basically when it was set on zero my blade was actually facing like this again that's a really severe exaggeration but it was it was off to the left now to fix this that's the point of the video. To fix this, it makes it very easy. DeWalt has built it with these four set screws. One, two, three, and four. And they have the screw head on them that fits your tool here. It's just a star Torx bit. I'm not sure, T25 or T. I probably shouldn't try to make it focus. It's not going to. Uh, it's probably T30 or bigger. It's, it's a good size Torx bit on there. T25 or T30. You can see my saw is clean now, a lot better than when I showed you how to change the blade. <clears throat> so you come through here and just pop each of these screws loose. And I'll be honest with you, I could not get enough mustard on it. This little short crank handle when you go and put your tool in here, pretty pretty low uh, moment that you get there. Uh, so I actually luckily had a different, I had a, a Torx fitting that size for a ratchet. So I was able to get it on there and get a little more torque on it and pop it loose. They were pretty snug. But you loosen each form. You don't have to take them all the way out. Just loosen them. And then this slide here just slides. It's free to move. Once you loosen all four screws, this thing can go either way. You can see they've got little slots either side and get a little bit of play. And that's so you can adjust it. And then what I did was with it loose and with the blade locked down, just like it is now, just give it just a little bump. Just like this. Keep bumping it. And keep checking your square all the time. Now be careful when you're doing this. Don't cram your square in there real tight against your blade because your blade will actually flex a little bit. So you want to just set it in real loose and gentle. Set it in. And you want to let it sit where it wants to sit. So you can see now, it looks like I've got a little crack there, but that's actually just a shadow. That's good and tight there. And make sure you don't have any sawdust or anything in there. Set it in against this side. Now it's dark. Y'all can't see, but it's tight there. And it's tight there. Again, when I started off, there was a crack on the opposite side. There's a crack back here in this corner. So when I came to this side, it was exaggerated this direction. So I had a crack back here and I had a crack at the front of the blade. But anyway, with those screws loose and with it locked on zero, just tap it like this, real gentle, until you get to where it's lined up smooth and then just torque your screws back down, okay? And you can even check it. I went ahead and checked it. It had it set on zero. And then I came through with a, a speed square that's got a 45, and I turned my saw and set it on 45 here, and then checked that um, 45 miter there, and then I came around this side and I checked, 
know, this would be a 135. Checked it too. So you can check it off a few different things. I mean, shoot, if you have some fancier squares, it'll give you a 60 or whatever, or 30, whatever you want to use. Check it that way too. But um, checked it, got it all squared up, got it all set right. And the funny thing is, I had a whole bunch of stock. I cut all this stock for beekeeping boxes, <clears throat> and luckily I cut it just a little bit big. And I did that expecting saw curve and everything else. I ended up having to go through and trim every single one of these. And when I trimmed them, I took off just a little sliver off each one to where the blade was zeroed here and wouldn't take anything off, and to the back, it took off just a little shave. So it definitely was out of square. I proved it, I fixed it. So hopefully I got some good square beekeeping boxes now. But I know I rambled. Hopefully y'all learn. I'm sorry I didn't actually show you loosening the screws, but hey, that, you don't, I don't need to show you how to loosen the screws. Very, very simple. Um, you know, I showed you how to change the blade on this saw, and I really appreciate uh, how DeWalt has made it. It's very easy to do. To that end, you look on our miter back here, or sorry, our bevel. This saw would bevel, uh, I think, 30, 35 degrees to either side. And I have not checked this square as far as up and down. Never had a problem with it, though. It's probably something I should check now that I found that this one, that the deck was out just a little bit, or the miter, I should probably definitely check the bevel, too. But that's another, that's another story.